Uh oh. What? Yeah. That's an aggressive little wank. She can't like. No. Telling us about Grandpa Malley. Grandpa Malley. Okay. Was an ox driver. Yeah. He had uh, six yoke of oxen that pulled his log wagon. He carried a whip that he could reach up and get the front, the lead oxen. And he would never hit them a leg. Not one leg did he ever hit one of them oxen. And he'd talk to them, and them oxen would mind him better than a a child minds their parents now. Mm. He talked to them, and he would he would carry his oxen in the wood. He'd take the lead oxen loose and load his logs onto the uh, wagon with them. And he was one. He would give up to be the best ox driver in the woods. And they used them old log wagons that had four wheels in the front and four wheels in the back. And that's what they hauled their logs on. Hmm. And never, he'd never hit an ox, not one leg. And after he got away from that, my cousin, Anna Laura Malley, was staying with Grandpa, and she would plow his fields with an ox. Hmm. And she never used a line on him or anything. She could just talk to that ox, and he knew exactly what to do. Yeah. So, uh, Grandpa Malley moved down to Bogalusa, and he had a young milk cow that he would carry down in the field and let her graze. And he was leading her, he had the rope around his waist, that's why he always led her. And as they was going down in the field for her to eat, something spooked the cow. And she jerked and jerked Grandpa Malley down, and he died from the fall. Well, I'll be. Uh, can you tell me, how old were you when, <laughs> when uh, Grandpa died, and do you remember? Grandpa Malley was, no, not, not uh, Grandpa. me, I must have been around 
in my early teens, I don't remember yeah. what year. What about my grandpa, your dad? How old were you when you d when he I died? I was 13 years old yeah, when my did, daddy got killed. Do you killed. remember anything about he him? He got killed. They had just started building a road for the county, and he lit one stump, another fella lit one. So as he goes, uh, as they leave, my daddy's stump exploded and they waited for the other one to explode, and it, it was slow, slow. So he goes back to relight it. He thought it had gone out, and when he got there, he stooped over. It exploded and sent him in the air. They said it, he went in the air like a bird, and when he fell, he hit on his left heel, and he, uh, <coughs> he never knew what it was. He hit on his left heel and it cracked his shoe all the way across. And there was an old feller by the name of Hilt Fernay, which was a cousin to my daddy, brought him in an old, it was a new car, but one of the old model Dodge cars and brought him, carried him to the hospital, and he died before they got there. So we had to wake that night, and the next day, there was a fellow by the name of Sid Amaker, had a T-model Ford truck that was a school bus, and that's how we carried him to the graveyard. Hmm. What now? Before he died, what do you remember ever going anywhere with him, doing anything yes, with him? Yes, we would. What kind of person was he? He was one of the finest. He was a gentleman, but he was strict. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I would go to church. We had a little old church right over here in the woods. Was it, it was on the old road. Was that Wesley Chapel? No. 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 This was a little church right here. Oh, it could have been a mile from here. Yeah. And uh, we would go there on the wagon. Yeah. And and go to church. I barely remember the little old log church. Yeah. And uh, but I still remember that we went through the woods. Had a <laughs> just a little wagon road going in there. I remember that. And. Uh, my grandpa Humphrey was a preacher there, and uh, that's where we went to church when I was small. Yeah. I don't remember the years after that time. I don't remember until we got a church built further on up the road, and that's where we have always went to church when we do go. Yeah. I don't go like I should, but yeah. <laughs> I'm getting back in church because the Lord has been good to me. Yep. And uh, I think it's my duty to be back in church and help people and tell them what I know has happened to me, and I think that it would do a lot of people good. Yep. Okay. Well, when that was... I'll tell you one thing, I trade for that. I treasure that picture, but I also treasure our family. Nadine, do we that have a small old, picture of our family? Sitting in yonder. No, I don't think he's inside the television. I'll get it. I'll get it. Do you know where it is? No, does it?
It's on the other side of the television sitting there. Now, uh, we have a... Um, I think we're going to have that screen. Oh, this one?